Hi, I'm Rich Wyatt. Welcome to GunsmokeGunsTV.com. All right, guys, the question is, when you travel, do you need to carry a gun, yes or no? I say yes. I say you need even more because you're going to places you're not sure about. So today we're gonna talk about how you can pack your pistol on the plane. First, I wanna discuss checking it in your baggage. It's a very simple process, folks. When you walk up to the counter, you can't go to baggage, uh, curbside baggage, you gotta walk up to the counter. When you walk up to the counter, you gotta get a person, you can't go to a computer terminal, and check in and tell them you'd like to declare a firearm. The first thing they'll do is take out a little orange or white tag that says unloaded firearms. They'll give it to you. You sign it, date it. They typically sign it and date it. Then you take it and put it inside your case. You take your gun. When I travel, I love to carry the Smith & Wesson Wyatt Deep Cover. I mean, who wouldn't want to carry this gun? Put it inside your case. I put the orange tag inside that says unloaded firearms inside the case. Close up the case and lock the case. Now this particular case has a lock on space on either side and you've got to, with this case, put a padlock on both sides. If I just put the padlock here and not one on the other side, you can open the case and then you can slide your hand down inside the case and you can actually get the gun out. They will not accept that, ladies and gentlemen. You have got to have a case that locks on both sides if that's the way it's designed to work. A case like this is a little different. It closes up, it's got a lock on either side, so you're good to go, okay? It's a combination lock, it doesn't matter. Either one of those works just fine. The gun must be unloaded. You can have nothing in the chambers. The ammunition should be kept in an original, factory, simple cardboard box, just like this. This is hoarded ammunition. This is what I use and I travel with. I love this stuff. It's fantastic. It's a nice size box to travel and it's good ammunition for self-defense. So that's what I use. This is a Bianchi speed strip. I use these to reload my little Wyatt deep cover. And folks, this is a very safe way to travel, but it's not legal. They want it in the original factory box. So it must be there in your original factory box when you travel, okay? I like to carry a 1911 on one side and a Wyatt deep cover on the other. So I love using this little case right here. It's very classy. It's got the Gunsmoke logo right there embossed in the leather, which I love. Um, it's high class. Now I like to do another little thing too. When I'm traveling, it just makes it a little easier for me. And if you're a copper fireman, it's okay for you. If you're not, sorry you're out on this one. I usually like to take my badge out of my wallet and I just stick it right in the case and bada bing, when it goes through, it goes through much easier because they see that badge and they think it's just better. Hey, you're no different or better person, but if it makes it work better for you, that's fantastic, you know? Sometimes when you're a cop, you don't get like a discount at the, at the food court at the mall. If you work at the mall, you do get a discount there. That's a good deal for you. This is a good deal for us. All right, now, guys, when you get to the other side, the bag will come out on a normal carousel. If you take your gun case, and stick it inside your regular bag. So I put it in whatever luggage I'm carrying, I open up this locked case, I put it right inside the bag. That's how I do it, okay? If you just check and declare the gun case, I'm gonna tell you folks, it's likely to be, or it's possible that it could be stolen, and I wouldn't want that to happen. Now, I've been traveling with guns in my bags for a very, very long time, over 30 years, and I've never, knock on wood, I've never lost a gun. I have had one damaged, but never lost one. Is it worth it to take it on the trip? Absolutely, because you don't know where you're gonna end up on the trip. You don't know the places you're going. You still need to protect yourself and your family. I think you actually need it more on a vacation than you do when you're at home, but I believe you need it all the time. Now, originally I said I was gonna tell you how you could carry a gun on the plane, right on your hip, on the plane, ready to go. Well, number one, if you're a law enforcement officer with the proper paperwork and credentials, you can do that on a commercial airliner. But most of you are saying, well, I'm not a cop. How do I do it? Okay, I still have a way out for you. 
All you have to do is buy your own corporate jet. Once you have that, you can carry the gun on you and fly all the time. It's fantastic. Well, maybe you don't have the money to buy a jet like I don't. Go rent one. It's still very expensive. But if you rent a jet, what a way to travel. I mean, talk about freedom. If you rent a jet, you can carry your gun on the jet. I've done it several times on extraditions, taking prisoners back and forth. Once I got the privilege of taking my family to go to Walter Reed to visit wounded veterans, which was a great opportunity for myself and my family, and we were flown in a private jet. It was wonderful. So that's how you do it, folks, a private jet. Thanks for watching GunsmokeGunsTV.com. If you have a question or something you're wondering about there, like this, this was a question that came up from a viewer, let us know and we will put it on TV for you. Thanks for watching GunsmokeGunsTV.com. Have a great day. Be proud to be an American.